I praise and thank God for this beautiful opportunity that God has given us to come in His presence before His precious Word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 24, verses 15 to 18. Lay not wait, O wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteous. Spoil not his resting place. For a just man falleth seven times, and riseth up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Rejoice not, when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbles to, lest the Lord see it, and it displeases him, and he turn away his wrath from him. The more we learn the word of God, the more we meditate on the scriptures, it helps us to understand the principles of God, and that gives us the glimpse of the holy nature of God. God hates sin. But he loves each person, whether he be a sinner or a righteous person. As he is the creator of every soul on this earth, God does not want any soul to perish and end up in the eternal hellfire. Let us look into the scriptures where God warns the wicked man, Lay not wait against the dwelling of the righteous. He is warned not to spoil the righteous resting place. A wicked one is looking for an opportunity to exploit a righteous person and spoil his resting place. A just man may fall seven times, but the Lord will help him to rise up again and stand on his feet. It may seem that his life is destroyed forever, but God, who watches the intentions of his heart, will help him if he is sincere in his heart. If he repents and gets right with God, and stays away from the path of sin, then God will help him to stand again and move ahead. Though a person is just and righteous, still he needs to be careful in his life. Every moment until his death, till he departs from this life on this earth, the enemy is after him, looking for an opportunity to hinder him from reaching that perfection that God desires from him. When we are careless for a moment, we will stumble and then we fall. We need to be humble and hold on to the divine hands that can hold us closer to Him and give us the wisdom and grace to walk in the path that is pleasing to our Heavenly Father. We know about the saints of the olden times, Abraham, Moses, David. They all are examples before us. They all did commit mistakes, and it seemed that they will never stand up. But the Lord in whom they trusted helped them to stand and move on, leaving their past behind. But on the other hand, look at the life of a wicked person. When he falls, he falls into mischief. He falls into the pit where he drowns in that miry clay. He does not have the strength to come out on his own. And as he enjoys sin, he never looks for help. As he knows, God is holy and hates sin. When a righteous falls, let us not try to spoil his resting place. God hates that attitude when a person enjoys the fall of his enemy and tries to take advantage of that situation. That is why God warns, Rejoice not when thine enemy falleth, and let not thine heart be glad when he stumbleth. Look at the heart of our Heavenly Father. He cares and provides for everything that we need. He takes care even of the people who hate and rebel against the will of God. God's mercy provides circumstances to each and every person to repent from his sin and be in the divine path that will save his soul from eternal hell. God wants his children also to have that same heart that values every soul, a heart that desires the salvation of each soul. If God expects that from the children of the old, who have never seen the love of Christ upon the cross, then how much more God expects from us, the saints of the New Testament, to value each soul, even though he be the enemy of the cross. We all know about the incident that happened in the life of Jonah the prophet. He was taught the value of the souls, the ones who were walking in many wicked ways. 
though they were walking the ways that displeased God God in his love sent his prophet so that they may repent from their wicked ways as a child of God do we have the divine nature of our heavenly father or the nature of a wicked person are we glad when our enemies fall do we gossip seeing the righteous fall let us have a heart that always thinks for the good of others a heart that is ready to help others when they fall to help them to be right with god rather than judging others when they fall let us walk humbly in the path of the lord lest we may fall and may remain far behind our goal may the lord help us to obey his word with a joyful heart let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity that you have given us thank you for teaching us Lord, help us to trust you, to look unto you. We know when we turn our eyes away from you, we will fall. Father, hold our hands and lead us. And Lord, through our lives, we just want your nature to be revealed. Our character should reveal your nature, Lord. For that, we surrender ourselves. May your spirit mold us. Thank you Lord we give you all glory and honor in Jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless you our lord is coming very soon maranatha